Na, 2009 world champion. She is the favorite to win in Vancouver, looked unbeatable in Los Angeles at the 2009 Worlds, won by more than 16 points. The first woman to break the 200-point mark. And look for her to look unbeatable here again. She's just a phenomenon. It's just uh, amazing. There isn't one thing about her skating that you can say is a weakness. Her line, choreography, speed across the ice, her jumping ability. Right here, just a triple lutz, gorgeous, right into triple toe loop, perfect. It's just extraordinary. Spins, choreography, step sequences. This technical ability. Oh, a little hiccup there. I've never seen her do anything like that before. I think that was supposed to be a triple flip. She has left it out. It'd be interesting to see if she tries to add a jump somewhere else. She's allowed seven jumping passes. Double axle, double toe, double loop. Normally, flawless. For her to decide not to do that jump, she must have known something was completely wrong, and she just stopped. Very smart. A lot of skaters will try to adjust themselves and fix it, and then have a disaster. That was extremely smart on her part to make that decision, if she felt that off. It's not like she's in that position very often. <laughs> Basically, with her lead and with her abilities, she could probably stop skating about, I don't know, two and a half minutes into the program <laughs> and still win by 15 points. Another triple lutz late in the routine. Huge, gorgeous. And if her dominance in skating isn't enough, she's also a very beautiful singer and there is no bigger celebrity personality star in South Korea than Kim Yuna. Just the way she finishes everything. Your first competition as the reigning world champion early in the competitive season. She is going to be impossible to beat. Wow. Kim Yuna in a league all her own right now. And she looks like she enjoys herself every <laughs> time she's out on the ice. There's stress right there. Do you see it? She's so comfortable, as she should be, because she is spectacular.
To see her on television is great, but to see her live and to see that speed across the ice and just the power in her skating, it's, it's extraordinary. Triple Lutz, gorgeous, right backwards, right into triple toe loop, gorgeous, right backwards. And look at the calm in her face and her upper body, the carriage, just up. That was what she just decided. I could do a triple flip here, but I really don't need it. And <laughs> triple toe out of this double act, double toe, double loop. Again, just beautiful skating, flexibility, choreography. It didn't even look like she was the slightest bit tired at the end of the program. Spinning, everything she does is just a dream. Just beautifully done, and how special is she? Greatly coached by you Mr. Brian Orser. Brian Orser, two-time Olympic silver medalist. Wow, 133.95. That is a new world record. 21003, <laughs> another world record. And without a triple flip. And oh, by the way, <laughs> did we mention it is the first event of the season? <laughs> Unbelievable. Here now are the final standings. Kim Yuna with two beautiful programs runs away with the first major event of the season. Her rival and closest competitor over the last few years, Mao Asada, takes second. But look at the point difference. Japan's Yakari Nakano takes the bronze. Again, a stunning performance from Kim Yuna in this first big event. We'll hear from her when we come back. Well, the countdown to Vancouver is officially underway, and Kim Yuna is well on her way. Beautiful skating. This, look, look, at the, look how straight she is in the air. Every landing just pure. Ugh, amazing skater. And the point difference is what is so remarkable. 36 points separating first and second. Normally, there'd be a 36-point difference between first and 10th place. <laughs> David Peltier with the champion. You know, these were very impressive score. You got to be happy with that. Sure. It's first competition of this season, and I missed my flip, and I was a little struggle on the, my footwork, and my spins level were three or something so I just I didn't know that my total score it's my another personal best and I just saw my long program scores and when I saw that my total score it was just amazing <laughs> so what happened in the flip well on this three turn I was a little well I think something was on the ice maybe or I don't know I just I couldn't jump, and I just, yeah. <laughs> so now you go home, and for your next competition, what exactly are you going to work on? Because you seem to be breaking world record, even with taking out a jump in the long program. I feel a little pressure about that, but I just want to try to my best every competition, and yeah, maybe I will not miss my flip again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and congrats.